Alright everybody, welcome back to Total Tank Simulator. Now there is... <clears throat> oh, this is a German campaign? We don't want to do the German campaign. Wait a minute, did I just pick Germany again? What? Oh, there's a little... <laughs> there's a typo. Okay, anyway guys, so... We showed off the T-42, the Soviet behemoth, right? Now let's see... Oh man, I don't want this hard. Impossible! Okay. Ooh. Not available. Try in sandbox mode. Okay guys, so we're gonna be coming up against a German super weapon, the likes of which the world has never seen. So I'm gonna have some dive bombers. I don't even know it's on this level yet, but I'm assuming... Oh my god. It's pretty big. So let's get... Let's get some tanks now. Some T-34s. Oh, dude, that's not a lot. Alright. If it's what I'm thinking, this is the German super weapon. Oh my god, there's a couple. Oh, and they've got air forces? Let's look at this thing. Look at it, it's a, U it's a German UFO. And it shoots lightning poles. Look at it, it's deflecting shots because it's got this nice rounded hole, so shells won't always just penetrate it. A lot will just bounce off. Oh my god, and then it shoots out. It's like a Tesla coil of sorts. Oh my, it's starting a forest fire. Aren't the planes crashing because of that? Oh my god, a plane just ran into one of my airports. I think he just killed all of my tanks. Wait a minute. And they've got artillery? Said Germans are wunderbar. Look at, oh my god, no wonder I didn't do anything against this. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to beat this, but all of my planes are actually getting shot out of the air now. Is it by enemy aircraft or is it by these light modes? Let's see. There's so much any aircraft fire. Well, this is what happens when we go into the boss level blind. We have a lot of planes, and I love how planes were added into this one. Look at this. This is an IL-2 Sturmovik. Now, these things during World War II were called flying tanks because they were very well armored and during world war ii you really got to see the beginning of like tank busting planes Pla oh those guys blew up they just collided and look at that there is nothing left of them at all so now this thing is called die glock i believe which one of my german subscribers one of baron's brigades who's a german was saying that that oh my god look we've got two airfields left he was saying that die Glock means the bell. Germans! I mean, I know that <laughs> many of you have said in the Forts campaign, look at that defeat just got blasted right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to sandbox mode real quick and do a custom battle, which was, I wanna, I wanna show you die Glock, right? So we're going to the Wunderwaffe, we're gonna get one die Glock and then <laughs> Sly Gaming said he wants to see it against 100 light tanks. So let's see actually like how powerful this thing really is. Not 101, 100. So the amount spent is 12,000 versus 5,000. Ooh, super speed. That's interesting. We can change the maps, but we're not interested in doing that right now. We want to see this, this Nazi super weapon in action. 100 Soviet light tanks of the BT-7 variety. Very fast, small, armed to 45mm main gun. As Joseph Stalin once said, quantity has a quality all its own. Also, these guys are really good at taking down trees. So the clock is about to run into the house. Oh my god! It's almost like a mini nuke. Wait, do Russian tanks... Russian tanks... Oh my god! God, they're all repairing. In one blast, it's disabled all of them. How does one kill a de Glock? That's what we have to figure out. Before we can beat that boss mode in the campaign, we've got to figure out just what it's going to take. Oh my god, did you see that? What on earth just... It's a... Uh, <laughs> that's how I'm feeling right now, guys. All right, this is fun. So... Now, what we're going to do right now is get into another custom battle suggestion, and then I'm going to go back and we're going to defeat the Glock.
okay? But anyway, guys, so in the comments section, Baron's Brigade, where are you at? I want you to leave your custom battle suggestions for Total Tank Simulator. So here, pause it when you need to. Here are the tanks for the Russians. We got light. Here we go. It'll work for German and Soviets, right? Light, medium, heavy, heavy, super heavy. Then we've got a tank, tank destroyer, and heavy tank destroyer. And for support, the Germans and Russians differ a little bit. Artillery, heavy artillery, landmine, heavy landmine, fire tank, and anti-tank bunker. Now, if we go over here to the Germans in support, you'll see that they've got the Goliath robot mines, anti-tank bunkers, and officers' cars. How cool is that stuff? Fighters, dive bombers, um, you know, the truck that shoots down the air, the emplacement that shoots down the air, and then secret project. And the Wunderwaffe, or the, the Luftwaffe, much the same, much the same. We've got the Storm Tiger tank. That thing's beautiful. I don't know if I've showed that off yet. Anyway, so we're going to do the custom battle suggestion. All right, guys. So this suggestion comes in from Roland Sean. Now it is all right, Baron. Here's my suggestion. The story is the Germans here, with their Wunderwaffe, or the Luftwaffe rather, is rowing into a giant. Is, is going against Stalingrad, right? And look how well defended it is. All these anti-tank bunkers, they got Katusha rockets, they've got artillery, they've got some anti-aircraft guns to defend. Oh my god, the rockets? I gotta say, Katusha's just like real life, are like just so overwhelmingly amazing um, to look at, right? They sound amazing, they look great. Oh my god, look how much the city just got absolutely decimated by that rocket barrage. The Germans really have no hope of beating this wall. So anyway, Roland Sean's suggestion is Russia is an entire wall of bunkers. Five Katushas, ten artillery, one Yak runway, and one Isle 2 Stormovic runway, plus four anti-air around the, you know, around the runways. Exactly. There's a little bit of mines in the Russian. Now the Germans have two Stukas, four heavy tanks, 30 light tanks, 50 medium tanks, and two SPA, and clearly it is not enough. But good lord, are those rockets gorgeous! Oh my gosh, can you imagine the sky filled with Katushas and planes? Ooh, what happened to this bunker? So these bunkers, man, I like I like how they're like. Right now, they kind of look like they're pillboxes. It'd be cool to see them remodeled, right? To like, I don't know, like kind of like those those German like giant cannon bunkers that were used to defend Normandy, or maybe the Germans should get those. I don't know. Oh look, this guy's finally coming up. I wonder if he's going to shoot down how many planes. But right now, the Germans have basically destroyed. We got the two SBAs left. The rockets and the uh, planes should finish them off. We'll see. But yeah, see, that's another thing. Look how inaccurate Katusha's are right now. Like, here's where they're trying to hit. And eventually, you know, quantity is quality old soul. So we victory. And we got a tree rocket ship. I love what that happens. All right. So what we're going to do, the Germans got absolutely trounced, right? We need to go to... Their, their special units here. We're gonna add some Sturm Tiger tanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now these things, the Sturm Tigers, use this, I believe it's 380 millimeter. Technically it's a cannon, but I'll show you it. Now these things, look at that. Look how funny they look. See that thing is huge. Compare that to like a 50 millimeter Panzer three barrel or an 88 millimeter Tiger barrel. It's obviously big. Now we've got a lot of enemies, so we are getting some frame rate issues at the moment. I'm wondering, I built this new computer, but sometimes I wonder if it's not optimized. But anyway, these things, it's 380 millimeters. They don't fire like a shell, like most tanks. They actually fire a naval rocket that was developed, I believe. I believe it was developed kind of for like some anti-submarine warfare. But anyway, they, but then they were used once that, that firing mechanism was put on this giant beast to destroy bunkers. So I'm curious to see them fire. Come on. You don't need to get that far up there to use it, do you? Guess it's, come on, buddy. Show us what you got. Show me what you got. He's just going... Oh, there it is! Oh, <laughs> and his buddy ran right into him. All right, so let's see how the Sturm Tigers do at taking out these bunkers. Oh, man, they're getting wrecked. There's just so many bunkers. I wonder how many Sturm Tigers we need. There are a few bunkers down, though, and in the first one, that was not the case. But everything else is more or less destroyed. We need some heavy breakthrough tanks. Okay. So we're going to get rid of all the light tanks and the medium tanks. 
The Germans, after sending two waves and learning their lesson, have decided to bring out the big guns. We are going to have the old two heavy mouse tanks leading the charge. We're going to have a good eh, six of them. And then some Tiger twos. Well, no, they got to precede the, the Sturm Tigers. The Sturm Tigers need to break through. These things are more or less to soak up damage. All right, and I think I think this is all I'm, I'm hoping. And if it's not, the Germans will bring out the Wunderwerper. And that is Die Glock. Oh, look at that. So here's the mouse. Now these things were supposedly so big and heavy that there wasn't really any bridges, or most bridges, you know, in combat theaters, wouldn't be able to hold them up. So they were like, ah, we'll just give it this snorkel, a long, like, periscope thing to basically give it air, and then it would just drive under the river. So it was kind of like, look at these things just soaking up the Tusha barrages. They got stunned. This guy's kind of stunned. Is he stunned? I mean, he's slowing down. He's not going as fast as they normally would. Wow, this mouse is picking up some speed. But yeah, so these guys, oh man. Oh no, he stopped a fire. Now I believe that the mouse, I don't know if it's in this game, but he has two guns. So his main gun's a 128 millimeter, and the one on the side of that, which is called coaxially mounted, is a 75 millimeter. Wow, that mouse just got wrecked. Come on guys, we need to take out these bunkers. The Sturm Tiger's gotta get up here. Look at this mouse just gonna... What? The flamethrowers? What? I've never seen that. There's no way. Those things, I mean, he just pulled back. He's like, screw that. He got taken out anyway. So what's happening? Wow, they've actually got a breakthrough right here. The mouse and the Sturm Tigers over here. Oh, look at that. Two Sturm Tiger shells and that bunker is down. Oh, God. That was a plane. No, that was... I wonder if you can hit a tree and it shoots up and if it hits a plane, will it kill it? Look at this. The flamethrowers, dude. It doesn't really matter how much armor you have. If you fire a flamethrower, if there's an opening, a gap, or if you can just super heat the tank and then its ammunition explodes, that'd be an interesting way of killing. Now, the Russians actually have fire tanks. But at the moment, I don't think that you can have... Russians versus Russians, you know, it has to be Germany versus Russia. There's going to be add more nations, but they've also been working on first person control, which is pretty fun. You've seen that in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, and Totally Epic Battle Simulator is working on it, but it'd be really cool to command a tank. Oh god. Yeah, so the Germans did a lot better this time, actually. But there are. They're taking a lot of the bunkers out, but the Confucius, they're basically just stuck here in a Perfect dive bomb by that Illusion 2 flying tank. Okay, guys. So the Germans are sick of this. This is ridiculous. We're going to get the Glock and we're putting it in. This guy is going to. I don't know how he's going to do. I'm not sure if he's designed to take out. Now, the Germans gave him a wide berth because I think he indiscriminately kills anything in front of him and around him in a certain radius. So that could be friendly vehicles as well. Look at him already taking some hits. I'm curious to see if his lightning is going to activate while he's in this village. Oh, it looks like he's about to charge up and fire. De Glock! Oh! Yeah. He just wrecked everything. The Katushas are firing. He's getting some direct hits, but maybe it's the aliens that gave the Germans the technology. You guys believe it? You guys ever hear about Operation Time Jump? Talk about conspiracy theories. All right. I want to see. Oh, it looks like he's about to charge up and blow again. Do you have it, De Glock? De Glock. De Glock, where are you going? Oh my god, that Tiger 2 got- Oh! Oh no, he got disabled from De Glock. De Glock is killing all of his own vehicles. So this was a bad idea. The Germans realize they can't trust alien technology. So that's interesting. The T- Wow, look at that stupid dive bomber falling right behind De Glock. I'm not sure if this thing's equipped to take out all oh, this poor mouse. Oh, you are just way too close to the blast radius. Your engine is overheating. Dude, all these trees are on fire. This is this is a beautiful thing. I mean it's beautiful and terrifying at the same time. He's just bouncing all these shells. Very few actually hit him to do damage, right? Oh! He just self-destructed the Germans. 
are in a terrible situation. They're calling for a full retreat. So, I don't know. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go to the campaign, and we're gonna go to the Russians. Is there a way to beat this thing? I can't use this. Now, in the last episode, we saw the T-42, the ultra-heavy tank. I'm gonna do some Katyushas. And then I'm gonna do some, uh, let's go with some anti-aircraft. And we're gonna put them behind it. Wow, we gotta space them out. We're running low on money. All right, guys, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that the Katyushas, what I'm hoping is that the Q Katyushas take those things out from afar and all the anti-aircraft guns protect them from their air power. There's not too many airfields, and let's see. How many of them are fighters? Stukas, Stukas, there are some fighters. Look at them going in. Come on, guys, you gotta, you gotta take them out. We're taking some losses. Katyushas need to start firing. Look at that. You can see these things already starting their forest fires. And look at this! Dick Glock is under heavy rocket barrage, but it's not too angry. One, we got a few hits. Oh, yes! Look at this! Look at this! It's glorious! Oh my god! Oh no, their, their air forces are taking us out. But see, in, is that... Is that Dick Glock doing that? Or is that just their air forces destroying them? Or maybe like friendly kills? I didn't watch that, I was watching Dick Glocks. I think it's gotta be the air forces just taking us No, it's artillery! Enemy artillery is concentrating on us. Let's go ahead, here we go. We're gonna speed up using the middle mouse wheel, one of the pro tips. Yeah, so there is some enemy artillery. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much... We're blown, guys. All right, so, Baron's Brigade, I need your help. How do we defeat this? What do you recommend? This is what we have available. Go ahead and pause it, check it out. Let me know what you think it's gonna take to kill D-Glock. Maybe some super heavy artillery pieces? I don't know. But we got our butts kicked. That thing is dangerous. I guess the bunkers. Wait a minute. We just saw the bunkers, right? Maybe that's how we do it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Custom battle suggestions and uh, campaign support on how to beat the German Nazi super weapon. And I will see you guys in the next video.